real we know that not yes. just what we see yes. in star magazine and all that crazy yeah, stuff right. okay mike lookenland who played bobby he is normal um he has a, a, a business of his own called just add water he does high-end designer poured concrete countertops fireplaces bathtubs and he's working with his hands and very happy successful father to two, two teenage sons and he's been married for about 500 years hmm. okay and last but not least my second favorite Brady because of course you were my first favorite because you we were almost the same age uh, Eve Plum Eve Plum is wonderful she is not a bitter Brady she just has other <laughs> things to do she is an artist she's been working very hard at her painting for years and it shows She's terrific, and uh, we all love her. Yay! All right, let's talk about your thoughts on a very Brady musical that came out a few years ago, and uh, Kelly Stables played Cindy. Oh, gosh, I I wish I could buy stock in her. Really, I mean that this is a this is a woman who just you know you see people that God packed so much good stuff into one. And she's a little tiny person. She can sing. She can dance. She's got comedy timing. She's gorgeous. Um, she rocks. You know what? You're describing a mutual friend of ours, Gretchen Bonaducci. Oh, she's yes, like a perfect yeah, person, yeah. compacted into that little teeny body. Uh, and, and teeny tiny, I know, God. With, these big, with these big and the big hair, and she's perfect. Okay, uh, Kelly, I want to mention she was actually in The Ring too. She played the creepy little oh, girl. Gotta see that. And I gotta give my uh, crew member, a Gabrielle Griego, credit for telling me that at the last minute. Did you know she was in The Ring? No, too? I didn't. But I, I'll have to watch it because I'm I'm really a fan. Of hers. I think she's amazing. All right, so let's talk about some stuff post Brady. You were actually in a rock band. Oh yeah, Cindy Brady in a rock band. What'd you do? It sounds more like the Partridge Family. No, I I um I really wanted to be a rock star, uh, <laughs> and I and I really wanted to be as far away from Brady as I as I could be. Which you play? Um, I well. I gave up. I wanted to be like the only the, a female Jimmy Page. I wanted to be a lead guitarist, <laughs> and um, I found out bass was easier. And this was before bass became the token girl player mm, <laughs> position the in the band. Oh gosh! Okay. But I really like bass. Okay. And then you are also a radio talk show host for years. Yeah. Um, actually, I, I did two radio shows. Um, I was also on a station called Comedy World, and it was the first dot com radio station, which went. But it was fun. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about your most recent television appearance on the series Give Me My Reality Show. Yeah, I, uh, I avoided reality shows pretty much. Um, and Were you ever approached for The Surreal Life? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like every, every season. And I just, I, I'm not passing judgment on anybody who does it. I just couldn't see me doing it well. And, and, and so many of the celebrity reality things are really engineered to make the people look bad they really are there you go and um but with give me my reality show i liked it because i mean it it was probably the least lucrative so there there, there was only a path with heart reason to do it and that was the fact that it was a play on reality shows it was right. a competition to try to get your own reality and it was show. positive it was something positive yeah and it aired yeah. on the fox reality channel which has is in 25 million homes right now and growing right okay, so you didn't win but i understand you're kind of happy about not winning well the part of the reason why i did it was because the fact that i was pitching my own show meant that i could control things and not have the cameras invading my son's life and my life but um, what I wanted to do really was just make a statement. I knew that, that Fox, the Fox Reality Channel would not want to do a show about animal rescue. Because it's not sexy and it's not scandalous. But it is. But it is sexy. It's very sexy. Oh my goodness. All of the cats I used were naked in the... <laughs> um, but Which, the... <laughs> by the way, I understand. I found out you got 15 cats in your house alone. <laughs> Tell us about your the the pet rescue that you are involved in. I know you're a board member, heavily involved with Precious yes. Paws, and that was kind of what you were doing on Give Me My Reality Show. Right. Uh, I I got involved in animal rescue because I, I became a foster mother um, with with the shelters, and so what that means is I take in the the babies that are not weaned yet, and I bottle feed them and get them ready to go off and be adopted. And I'm I'm trained to do cats and dogs, but it's the cats. That I, that I kept getting. I, I only had two calls for puppies. 
and it's just it's like it's raining kittens there is such a problem with cat pop overpopulation every day almost and it's just one shelter that is emailing me pictures of these beautiful little babies that shouldn't mm. be born at all but if they are born then you know they're, somebody they're like here. me takes care right. of them and, and then I got involved in Precious Paws because it's a private adoption agency and instead of taking them back to the shelter which where they can get sick I actually know that they go well yeah mm -hmm. I know that they go to good homes and sometimes that means that it takes a little longer to get them adopted which is why I have some teenage kittens now. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but you know it's 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 a cat house I, I have some now they're not mine I only have four of my own but it, it's it's a revolving door and right now okay. just at the moment there's 15 of them of sexy means, naked kitties that's right Oh, yeah. Okay, before we wrap up your interview, I have a very special surprise. I had a fan get a hold of me last night, knew I was taping, and did oh this. Gosh. He's an artist, and he did this rendition for you of Cindy Brady. And I want to present this to you. This is uh, Thomas Zolotar. He lives in Arizona, and he has a, a website, uh, myspace.com, Free the Souls. And oh. he adores you. And so oh, there's sweet. your photo. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. So there you go. Thank you. And on that note, my little kitten, <laughs> we are going to wrap this up. Is there any way that people can get a hold of Precious Paws real quick? Preciouspaws.org. Um, go to our website, learn all about us. And there's lots of beautiful little creatures that you can adopt. And Susan, thank you for making a personal dream of mine come true and coming full circle. And on that note, don't go away because I will be right back with Community News. When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Casual fine dining, succulent steaks and Italian favorites, a full bar, live entertainment nightly. Plus, Colombo's offers lunch and delivery service. When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard in Eagle Rock. Manja. your lifestyle, feel rejuvenated, slow the aging process and boost your immunity, cleanse your body and become super hydrated with Canjin water. Through revolutionary technology, turn your contaminated tap water into great tasting healthier water where vitamins and minerals absorb easily. Canjin water helps normalize blood pressure, release excess body fat and detox with every glass you drink. Visit our website or call 310-714-3154. Change your water, change your life with Canjin water. Get that perfect shot with Barbara Porter Photography. Barbara's innate talent and friendly approach is simply the best. Actors, musicians, that special someone, and pets. Her gift certificates make an excellent gift for anyone. And don't forget those holiday photos and greeting cards, a great idea for any occasion. To view some of her incredible work, visit myspace.com, Barbara Porter Photography, or call 818-347-9472. For over half a century, Vandom Wine and Spirits has specialized in the finest rare and hand-picked wines along with a wide variety of unique spirits. Both of their valley locations also carry a vast array of beers, top-of-the-line cigar products, and beautiful gourmet gift baskets. Come sample wines from all over the world during Vendom's popular wine and cheese tastings and classes. Whether you're on a budget or a high-end connoisseur, Vendom has something for everyone. With two convenient locations in Toluca Lake and Studio City, it's easy to shop Vendom Wine and Spirits. And now it's time for Community News. Our City Controller Laura Chick just released her audit regarding the City Prop F Animal Facilities Bond Program. The prop granted $150 million in 2007 to ease overcrowded and below standard animal shelters throughout Los Angeles. Chick found a lack of misting systems in outdoor dog kennels, rabbits housed in storage areas without air conditioning, and that the Northeast Valley Shelter isn't even open to the public to adopt those animals. Well, the Renaissance the Arts Academy in Eagle Rock is presenting Invocation on January 22nd and 23rd at 7 p.m. It takes place at 1800 Colorado Boulevard. Renart is a charter public school open to, of course, the public with 300 students and another 200 on the waiting list. It is the highest scoring school in all of LA's Unified School District. Even LA City Council has recognized the Academy for its outstanding academic achievements. For more info, visit renarts.org. 
Well, that does it for this edition of Focus in the Mix with Denise Ames. I hope you enjoyed the show. I would like to thank my very special guest, Susan Olson from the Brady Bunch and of Precious Paws Animal Rescue for joining us today. And if you would like to make friends with the show on MySpace, just visit MySpace.com, Denise Ames. I'm your host, Denise Ames, and I thank you for watching.